like the water is just not draining right here at all. Whereas over here, it's definitely draining. Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm out here in Flagler Beach with the homeowner, Amanda, and she's actually going to explain to you what's going on here. Uh, basically, they had a brand new pool installed. This beautiful section here. I mean, I really like the people that built, built the pool, but she's having drainage issues, and she hasn't been able to get the guys to come back to actually do anything about it. So she gave us a call, and this is Amanda. Hi guys, my name is Amanda Finn. I'm actually a real estate agent here locally in Flagler County. Um, so, if you love Flagler County, see kind of what we're dealing with here. Sunshine, it's beautiful always. But let me walk you through kind of what's going on here. Um, after we installed a pool, um, we noticed that there was uh, excessive amounts of water when it rained, heavy downpours. Um, we had a French drain installed. It took a couple times to get it installed correctly, um, but it's still not operating correctly, um, which is why Chuck is here to help me figure it out so that our patio quits flooding. Um, so we kind of have a plan in place and looking forward to getting the water out of our patio and from it to stop accumulating on our pool deck. So yeah, you guys, so let's go over what's happening here. There's a catch basin here. There is another catch basin back here. And these two are attached together. They actually run out front. There is a downspout drain. You can see how it's turned and also running out front. Out here in the front, there are two pop-ups. <laughs> There's actually two pop-ups, one here and one here. This one is for the catch basins and the back downspout. The other one was just for the front downspout. And of course, and of course they're not working. But to make the problem even worse, and it's really sad she could not get these guys to come back out here and take a look at this. You can see the channel drain. It's a nice two inch channel drain. It works really well. However, there's no discharge. Can you see it over here? It just goes straight into the ground. Real typical problem that you know, we see it every day. There are three downspouts here on the back of this uh, lanai. They, they don't go anywhere. Same thing, channel drains backed up, goes down, discharges to nowhere. So Amanda told me that there is a PVC pipe that runs out here. She has it flagged. And you can see it right here. This was a pop-up. And it's, of course, full of water. There's just this full of water. So we explored a little bit more. She told me there is a core through the wall. And we found this. This is actually an access to the seawall. You can see there is a core through the wall, so we can use that. We were hoping there was a, another core through the wall on this side, but there is not, because we need to attach that channel drain. It'll just go around the fire pit and bring that out. We don't want to put a pop-up here at the wall because it would cause erosion problems, and seawalls are not cheap. So we don't want this to go bad. So we're going to have to core through that retaining wall to bring that line out. So here's some more video of that area flooding. This is the catch basin that's right beside a downspout at the corner of the lanai. And you can see, it just the water doesn't go anywhere. This line's supposed to go out front. 
here is that same area actually collapsing. Why is it collapsing? Because the downspout is not properly attached to this. And you can see that it's just pulling that sand everywhere. And here's another rain event. And you can see that they were able to get the company to come back out and actually attach that so that it was secure and it wouldn't erode anymore. But they still have a problem. The area still floods. It's, nothing's changed. So how do we fix this problem? That's really the big question. How do you go about fixing this without tearing up all of these pavers? Okay, from that catch basin, I believe that we can actually attach that to the downspout drains, which run to the other end of this lanai. If we can do that and then install a new line from the other end of the lanai, attach the channel drain, send that out to the seawall and use that existing core, this will solve the problem. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that um, I file a truck with Apple Drains online and so thankful that he can make it out here to Flagler Beach today to my personal house. Um, but again, um, if I'm, I'm a local realtor in the area. I have been for over 10 years and um, Flagler Beach is such a quaint little town and you're going to love it. Um, so if you're thinking about buying or you're curious about Flagler Beach, uh, you can head on over to my website at um, www.flaglerpalmcoastrealtor.com. My name is Amanda Finn and you can also reach me or Chuck. My cell phone is 386-931-3667. Hope you guys are having a great day and uh, welcome to paradise. So yeah, if you're interested in beach living, you know, I know that our videos reach the United States and the world. And here at Flagler Beach, this is a place where I come to surf all the time. And I meet Europeans here that come and stay for a month at a time. Time. If you're interested in buying a property here, remember that you could just rent it out and Amanda can take care of all of that. You know, take a look at our website, get in touch with one of us. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.